like many of the other spells that we have uh, on Black Myth Wukong and the uh, several peels that we have posted here on the channel, there's one specific one that I didn't think that it was going to be that amazing, and that is Ring of Fire. It is very powerful, and if you know how to build it properly, it can be it can just trivialize the game much as the rest of the tools that you have in the game. So suffice to say that everything in Black Myth Wukong is very powerful. You just have to have the right combo, the right combination, and have the right and proper peels for it to be deadly. In this case scenario, there's a couple of things that we are going to be taking advantage of right here. We have made a build for the cloud step, which is going to be uh, a little bit more DPS, but here it's a little bit more safe. What this build is going to allow you is, uh, is going to allow you to have a safe damage, quite a whole safe damage, while at the same time you have sustainability and as much health as possible. This basically turns you into a kind of immortal character despite that you're fighting something that has a very very large health pool which there's many bosses in this game like that and it'll overall it becomes a battle of attrition and uh, having to perfect dodge and have to be dodging those very very aggressive enemies this build is going to allow you to be able to survive while still dealing uh, amazing damage and at the same time you don't actually have to worry that much about landing those perfect dodges because the sustainability is uh, in between being safe away from the enemy, healing yourself with the ring of fire and also getting the maximized uh, uh, damage possible because of the ring of fire and the combo that we'll have with the cloud step. So of course, the first and most important thing is going to be the Ring of Fire. Uh, there's a couple of things in here that are going to make uh, this thing very, very powerful. While exploration is very useful because it doesn't allow many Yao Kuai uh, to get close to you. And one more thing that it makes this thing just very, very powerful is that it increases the focus gain while you're standing in it. That means that if you charge your heavy attack, you can reach the, that threshold, that 3 bar threshold faster. So what Ring of Fire is going to give you, it's going to give you faster recovery rate for your focus points, it's going to heal you and it's also going to sustain the stamina a little bit more because you are going to have a little bit more stamina. Now on Alteration we are going to have Cloud Step and ideally you want to max out this bad boy as much as possible because remember that this guy increases your critical hit chance, it also increases increase the damage that you deal and the final talent from this tree it increases well the unveiling strike increase the, the damage quite a lot but also the unveiling strike can be turned into a heavy attack which is why this is going to be so important for the staff stance in this case scenario the most uh, useful one is going to be the pillar stance because we are going to be standing in one single spot for a very very long time it can be of course the thrust stance as well however i would recommend uh, for the pillar stance because this is a little bit safer to use than the thrust stance if you're fighting like for example very aggressive enemies uh, also bosses that are not like that tall or that they are not that huge this allows you to bypass the damage that they deal to you not only by uh, distance but also by height verticality one cool thing is that we're going to be building towards stamina because one of the talents that you get right here from the pillar stance is that every time that they deal damage to your uh, stance to your weapon it reduces the amount of stamina damage that you take from here uh, and also remember that you have more stamina because you're standing on the ring of fire so everything it's a synergy in between each other Finally, from survival, we're going to need a couple of things. You will notice that I have a whole bunch of things right here just because I'm a higher level. But just have in mind that the real most important thing to have right here it's going to be the stamina once the rampant bigger right here i'd say that remember that the enemy while you are standing on your pillar stance is going to deal damage to the stance to the pillar stance not to your health uh, provided that it doesn't have like distance damage or like it's a uh, huge hitbox kind of enemy there's many large enemies in here that even them don't allow for for them to deal damage to you they really have to be very very big or they need to have some kind of distance for them to deal damage to you. We need that uh, vigor, that extra vigor, to be able to sustain ourselves. The relics. We are going to take, of course, Unveiling Strike, and then the second one that we are going to be taking right here. I'd say that uh, it's a nice idea 
to have the attack after a perfect dodge because it is going to be to some extent a battle of attrition but all ears or uh, whistling, whistling wind right here it worked perfectly fine in here this is a must this is a quintessential part of the build in one breath the focus points can be charged up to four within the ring of fire so whenever you cast your ring of fire you can stand in there and get the final fourth attack slot which is very difficult to get uh, while you're doing regular fighting because the enemies interrupt you the it decreases so it's very very safe to build with this build this kind of little thingy right here because it's a <laughs> like i said a very safe build to use here, just uh, on the fourth one, just uh, any universal thing that you would like to have in here, it's not going to be that consequential. The same thing applies for here, although uh, on the final one, I'd say that the Nimble Body is going to be the one that we're going to be using the most, because remember that we need the stamina, and this is for the heavy attacks. So yeah, this is very, very useful. For the armor, we're going to be using the long uh, battle row, battle uh, armor, because it increases the thunder damage that we will be dealing and we are going to be using thunder weapons for this build because these weapons, the long weapons, they benefit from the pillar stance and if you don't have the mythical one yet, you can by all means use the, the regular epic one this should suffice and be sufficient enough before uh, until you get the mythical one it should be just uh, and you can get this on like the start of the third chapter of the game the end of the cha second chapter of the game so yeah it's very very easy to obtain I don't have anything specific on my curios yes I know that I am a new game plus and I forgot to get the third and fourth uh, <laughs> slot for the curios as some people were kind enough to remind me yes I am very much uh, very much aware of that but in here this is not going to be of consequence this is not going to be that important although if you manage you to have the legendary celestial versatile fragments although I think that you get this until you you finish the game anyways this is just going to increase the thunder damage and it's going to ignore uh, any enemy that has resistance to it this is going to ignore it so I'd, I'd say that's just a, the must thing that you would have in here so what's the gist of everything? How does the build work? Essentially what you do is that you wait for a safe opportunity to set down the ring of fire, then you set down the ring of fire, get away from it, and then cast the cloud step. Remember that one talent that you have from the cloud step is that it's going to set up a clone, a shadow clone in that location where you casted it. So you have to aim your dodge because uh, cloud step, it's a dodge, you have to aim your dodge towards the location that you place your ring of fire. Never use the cloud step as soon as you cast ring of fire because then the enemy is going to be attacking at that one same spot. So again, you cast the ring of fire, you get away from the ring of fire, cast the cloud step with the cloud step, you get back the ring of fire and start charging your heavy attack. That's essentially what is going to be uh, the whole gist of everything. Rinse and repeat until the enemy is dead, until the boss is dead. What, what's happened, it doesn't deal as much damage as, for example, different builds that we have posted here on the channel, but it's very useful because you it means that you no longer have to be using your gourds at all. Like, you quite literally don't have to heal with this type of build if you, prop, uh, if you play it properly. Because sometimes, uh, after you have casted the Ring of Fire and it re the, uh, the effect runs out or wears off, all you have to do is just get away from the enemy. Maybe if you want to attack, you can't build a little bit more focus. But more often than not, if you're fighting something that is giving you issues, get away from the enemy, wait for the cooldown, which is not that bad. And then if they dealt damage to you while you were running away from it, you're still going to recover that health back on the Ring of Fire. So if the enemy is not dead by the time that you run out of mana, which more often than not, it should be, at that time, you're still going to have the entirety of your courts to finish up that boss fight that you have in front of you, even though if it's even if it's a very difficult, difficult one. Anyways, if you like the content, like and ever super appreciate it. Not told you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you're a gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, have a lovely, lovely day, and goodbye.